What's up guys, it's Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We are back with another vending collection video. Today we're kicking it off at our game store location. And guys, you know how much we love our game store location. This is probably, yeah, I think this is our best location, guys. At least you're gonna see by the end of this video why we say that. All right, so here we go. We're gonna kick it off with the claw machine. And before we do the collection, we're gonna do some, uh, some service to this claw machine. What we're gonna do is we're first of all, gonna open up the top and we are going to take the plush and move it around so uh, all the, the great you know, licensed plush can be seen real well. So the players are gonna wanna see the stuff they wanna try to win. But also while we're here, I noticed there hasn't been a lot of plush missing. So that's, when, when, when there's not a lot of plush missing, that's typically a sign that there's not a lot of winners. And guys, you wanna have winners on your games because if you don't have winners, no one's gonna play, right? So you wanna make sure that people are winning so that way people remember winning, people come back and play, they see other people winning. They know that your games are winnable. So first, like I said, I'm gonna sort things through here and just make sure everything's visible. And then we're gonna run a few tests with the claw because I don't know, something doesn't seem right. We're gonna make sure that things are working properly. We're gonna make sure that the strengths are good. And uh, if we need to, we'll make adjustments. So there we go. I'm just kind of, like I said, working things around. We got SpongeBob back there, some Dippin' Dots. We got the alien heads. Uh, there's uh, some Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory prizes in the back there. Lots of good licensed stuff, guys, and that's probably another key, too. Make sure you have licensed prizes um, so, so people want to play. All right, let's run a few tests here. So we're going to first move the claw around. We're going to try and win this alien head here. We're going to see how this claw does. And, yeah, it didn't close very good. You see that? It didn't close very good there, guys. So that's a good sign right there that we need to make some adjustments to our claw machine. And you can make the adjustments right behind the coin door. There's some potentiometers right back there that can... Uh, help you make that claw stronger. So we're gonna try test two here. And, all right, so it definitely grabbed better, but it's still probably not strong enough in my opinion. So we're gonna do um, maybe one or two more tests, making it a little bit stronger to make sure that that's working properly so people can see that that claw is grabbing properly. So let's try again. All right, it's definitely closing, but you know, it didn't it didn't grab that alien head at all. So we're going to make one more adjustment. We want it to grab, and even if it lets go afterwards, we at least want it to grab and pick it up. So let's go ahead and try one more time. Let's see what it does here. There we go. See how it grabbed it? It did drop it, but it did grab it, and that's what we want. We want it to grab. So I think we're good on adjustments there. All is well. Let's go ahead and lock the top of the machine up, and then we can go ahead and get into our collections. So we're going to kick it off with the coin collection for this machine. And remember, the last time we were here, there weren't a lot of coins in the bottom of this machine. I'm not expecting much in any of these machines back here for coins because most of the coins, when people spend them, go into the Pokemon trading card machine. And like I said, we'll get to that later in the video. All right, let's open up the bottom coin door and let's check the coins. Yep, just like I suspected, guys. Not a lot of coins, and that's okay. Um, even though this machine is a 50 cent per play game, there's still not a lot of coins. People are just throwing dollars in there and playing two games. So we're gonna pour those into the coin cup, and like I said, we'll get into the, the you know later why we use that coin cup. I've showed it in some previous videos, but you know until we get to be a bigger channel, we can afford nicer and more expensive equipment. We got to get by with what we can get by with. So like I said, we'll show you more in the video why we use that coin cup. Let's do the bill collection. All right, look at that guy. It's a nice fat stack. Probably our second best machine at this location this time around. Let's go ahead and fan it out. And make sure you put down in the comments your guess with how much money the claw machine made. All right, let's go ahead and get that locked up and then we'll move on to the next machine. All right, next up guys is the stacker machine and this one is never the most popular game in the store. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's check the coins first. And guys, look at that. There are zero quarters in there. No coins in the coin box. Let's go ahead and check the bill box. All right, nice little stack in there. Let's go ahead and pull that out so you can see how much money it made. Again, not the fattest stack, but it's uh, it's pretty decent. We'll go ahead and take that. Again, put your guess down in the comments with how much money you think the stacker machine made. So put stacker and the total amount you think it made this month. There you go. There's a look at the prizes inside too. We might have to get some more Pokemon prizes for that game. All right. Here is our favorite game, it's the Barber Cut Machine, and this is the one that has all the different Pokemon prizes inside, and like I said guys, Pokemon is super hot right now. So actually more quarters inside than I thought there would be. So let's go ahead and pour those into the coin cup, and then we'll move on to the bill box as well. So again guys, remember, Pokemon is super hot right now, so you're gonna see a lot of Pokemon stuff in our videos at this location. All right, let's check the bill box. Bam, guys, check that out. That is a fat stack of cash. We will definitely take that. Let's go ahead and pull it out if I can get my fingers around it. 
and then we'll go ahead and see just how much is in there. And guys, let's fan it out. Look, there's a lot of $5 bills in there too. Lots of fives this time around. So again, put down in the comments your guess with how much the barber cut machine made. So put barber cut and the total amount you think it made for this month. All right, guys, here's the sticker tattoo uh, vending machine when we do Pokemon and Magic the Gathering trading cards here. Now, I've seen a lot of, a lot of this uh, come up in the Facebook groups and whatnot. People starting to get more into more vending Pokemon cards. So here's what we do. We took an old sticker machine, a tattoo machine, whatever you want to call it. We uh, took out all the stickers and all the tattoos. We put in Pokemon cards and Magic the Gathering cards, and uh, it works out really well. You still have to put them in those little white folders. Um, but, uh, you know, they're real popular, guys, especially like right now. Like I said, Pokemon is super hot. Look at all those quarters. This is where all the quarters are going in this location right now. So I'm going to pull the two trays out. You can see just how many quarters there are. Let's combine them together. And then I'm going to show you kind of how we count the quarters on the fly. Now, we don't have a real nice quarter scale like Quick Play does. Like I said, hopefully someday we'll get to that point. But what we use, and, and this tip, again, is brought to you by Integrity Vending. We got this, this tip from Integrity Vending on their YouTube channel. So all you do is you use a party cup from Walmart here. And this is our emoji party cup. And we're going to fill it full of coins. And we're going to throw it on a postal scale. And we've got our little chart to say, you know, to see how much how much each each uh, amount of quarters weighs in these little party cups. So there we go. Threw some money on the floor like I always do. Let's go ahead and weigh it out. And as you can see, it's 29.8. And I don't have my reference chart with me. But I did there in the video. So what I'm doing is I'm making a mental note of how much... How, how much money 29.8 ounces with that cup equals. And I'm just going to pour it into um, you know, another bag and then we're going to go ahead and weigh out the next amount. Because you can't weigh them all at once because it's you know it can be too heavy and, the, and it's too much for that scale to take. So there we go. I'm going to pour the rest of the coins in the cup. It is 45.0 ounces. So we're, again, we'll reference that on our chart and then we'll document how much money that made. So put your guess down in the comments with how much money this trading card machine made this month around. And then uh, put trading card machine, the total amount you think, put it down in the comments, guys. All right, there we go. Let's move on to the last machine, which is our, remember we, we changed over from those SpongeBob capsules to Pokemon capsules. So let's go check that out, guys. All right, here we go. So remember, I'm gonna give it away the last, last month this did $13.50 with these SpongeBob toys. This month, we changed it over halfway, about halfway through the month. So this is really only, I don't know, two weeks worth of Pokemon and two weeks worth of SpongeBob toys inside. There's the quarters, guys. So I'm gonna throw it down the car. I'm, I'm not gonna make a guess. I'm gonna tell you how much money this machine made. So this machine did $27.50. So last month it did $13.50. This month it did 27.50, so it's a nice little increase again. And it was only had those Pokemon stuff for two weeks, so remember, guys, Pokemon stuff is super hot right now. So if you can get your hands on it, definitely do so, guys. All right, here is our total amount collected minus the quarters. Um, so let's go ahead and show you just the uh, the fat stack there that we're going to use for our thumbnail. So check that out, guys. <laughs> our best month ever here at the game store location. So again, put down in the comments your guess with how much total you think we made and uh, put total and the total amount collected, guys. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We are just about to pass that milestone into 1,900 subscribers and we need your help to get there, guys. So if you haven't done so yet, click that, that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you get notified when our new videos and our live streams go live. While you're down there, don't forget to give us a thumbs up to like the video and also share our videos with your friends. Thank you so much for your support and taking the time to watch our video, guys. We really appreciate you. We couldn't have this channel without you guys. So thank you so much. All right, guys, it's time to wrap this video up. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.